Welcome to Best Binocular Reviews. In this video I'm going to be taking a look at mostly the external features on these Celestron Trailseeker 8x42 binoculars. For the full review that contains a really in-depth uh, analysis and look at all the parts of this binocular including the optical components and all the coatings used on, on the optics, please take a look in the description below which contains a link to my website. These Celestron Trailseeker binoculars have a, a, a very typical uh, roof prism design in that the um, eyepieces are directly in line with the objective lenses. Um, the, they have a single central bridge uh, which is located um, sort of further up towards the eyepieces um, and it's quite thin. Um, I quite like this design. Um, some of the binoculars now call them uh, a top hinge design and um, basically because it, it leaves a bit more of the barrels exposed down here at the bottom um, which when you're holding onto them um, when walking without say um, a, a harness on or your strap um, just gives you a bit more grip and but also when you're glassing sometimes it's quite nice to wrap your fingers around them they feel really nice and comfortable in the hands um, and they have a quite a thick rubber um, armor on the exterior um, of the chassis the chassis is actually made from magnesium which is um, considered to be better than um, well definitely better than the polycarbonate ones um, quite often used um, and is lighter than the aluminium ones sometimes found As I said, the, the binoculars themselves feel really nice on the hand, they, they have a nice balance to them. The IPD setting, as with most um, binoculars, is simply changed. IPD meaning um, the difference between the two ocular lenses to, to match that of your eyes, um, simply by opening and closing the central hinge. It can be adjusted like that. They come with um, pretty standard 42mm objective lenses. Um, which is nice and large and, and um, should uh, well and can has the potential to um, collect um, plenty of light for most conditions. As you can see um, over here, I quite like the fact that the um, objective lenses are set quite deeply um, within the, the ends of the ends of the barrel. This creates a little overhang over here, um, which is quite nice for um, it, it protects the the lenses from physical damage but as well from you know maybe light rain and even from dust settling on the on the ends of the lenses. The ocular lenses and the eyepieces on these Celestron binoculars are protected with this rain guard. As you can see it fits really nicely over the the ends of the eyepieces. Um, made from a, a soft plasticky or, or rubber material um, it, it, it's nice and flexible has a nice flexible bridge in the center of it which is something that I really like because um, what it means is that you can um, put them back onto your binocular and have them stored no matter what your IPD setting is, is at. The 42mm objective lenses on these binoculars are protected by these soft uh, lens, lens covers. As you can see, like many binoculars these days, they are actually tethered to the binocular, which is quite nice because they um, hang below like this when you're glassing, um, completely out of the way. It's, all, it's always handy to quickly replace as soon as you've finished uh, viewing, looking through the binoculars. Um, should you not like them for any reason hanging um, below your binocular, um, they're quite easy to take off and put away in your bag. Just like the rain guard, the objective lens covers fit really nicely onto the ends of the barrels as you can see, um, don't slide around and, and shouldn't come away too easily um, by accident. I also like this little tab on the top, and whilst it may not add to the sleek look of the whole binocular, it's, it makes it that much easier just to flip the, the guard off the, off the binocular. Features. Twist up eye cups, which work really well. Um, as you can see, they have two intermediate stops in between fully retracted and fully extended. The mechanism itself is really solid. Um, the, the actual eyepiece housing is, is made from metal, um, unlike the plastic ones, meaning that it's, it's far more durable. And, and, and that's also what I think gives it a really nice solid feel as you open and close them. Um, on the whole, the, the eye cups, I really like them. Um, got a soft uh, padding on front just to make them a bit more comfortable when you press against your face. Um, the, the really nice working mechanism um, with the two click stops along with a, a full 17 millimeters of eye relief uh, mean that for most people who wear glasses that these, these should be perfectly adequate to use whilst you can um, and keep your glasses still on. The adapter adjustment is located on the right barrel near the eyepiece as, as is the case with most binoculars. Um, as you can see um, to adjust it you just simply turn it left and right um, the, for those who don't know, the adapter is used to adjust the, the right side of the binocular um, independently of the left. Um, thus, you can compensate for any differences in the vision you have between your left and your right eyes. 
Um, unlike the, the really best binoculars, um, where, which have a, a lockable diopter, these aren't lo lockable. Um, and they also turn, it, it, it turns quite easily. Um, thus, um, there is a, a possibility that these could be changed, have your setting changed unwantedly or by accident. The large central focusing wheel turns nice and smoothly, uh, perhaps not quite as smooth as some of the best that I've ever ha felt, um, but it's nice and large um, with plenty of ridges on there to, to um, add grip, um, which can be important, especially when wearing thick winter, winter gloves. It also sticks out the top quite a lot. Again, when you're wearing gloves, this can, can make a difference. Um, to take the focus from near focus all the way to infinity takes about one and three quarter turns. Um, this is quite a, you know, this takes quite a lot of turning compared to some binoculars, um, which has the advantage in that it makes fine tuning your focus just that much easier. Um, on the downside, it just takes that little bit longer to, to focus, um, change the focus over long distances quickly. These Celestron binoculars are tripod adaptable. Uh, what I mean by that is the central dust, pack, um, dust cap in between the, um, the two barrels can be unscrewed quite easily. This then exposes a thread, a standard thread, which takes uh, most standard tripod adapters, um, which you simply just threw into, screw into there and then attach that adapter onto your tripod. The next strip that comes with these uh, Celestron binoculars is, is pretty good. As you can see, it's, it's really wide and reasonably thick with quite a lot of padding, so um, yeah, it provides more than enough comfort for a binocular of this size and weight. Um, as you can see, it is slightly curved over there on the, on the, the shoulder section, which um, just adds a little bit more comfort for when it's, and fits better when it, you, know, you put it around your neck and shoulders. The stitching on the whole looks to be good. And as you can see, there's quite a lot of padding on the, on the underneath over here. Um, the connector uh, between the, the next, the, the padded section and the actual straps is uh, made of a, a fake rubber. Again, the, the stitching looks to be pretty good and it seems nice and strong. The strap itself connects to the binocular in the usual way um, with a slider, which goes through these two loops on each side of the, of the barrels. Also included with these Celestron Trail Seek binoculars is this package that inside contains a binocular harness. Now this is not something that um, often, I often see included with a binocular and so it's a, a really nice initiative from Celestron and a, and a nice inclusion, especially for those who want to carry their binoculars you know, nicely securely to their chest without them flapping around um, as you, you get with uh, just using the neck strap. As you can see, um, this is the, the part that sits on your, on your back. Um, it's, it's well padded um, and seems to be well made. It also has these, these air vents over here, um, which can help, which obviously helps to reduce the amount of sweating um, on a hot day like actually today. Um, so this material is breathable, again, to reduce sweating. The actual uh, straps are, are nicely elasticated and have these sliders so you can adjust the, the length to make them fit um, nice and tightly, um, have the binoculars fit nice and tightly to your chest. Um, the, the part that attaches to the binocular is, um, works in the same way as a, a binocular um, neck strap with the, the slider and you just loop it through the sides of the binocular that way. Um, these can be quickly taken off and on should you wish when you're out in the field with these um, swiveled quick release connectors. These binoculars come with a soft carry case as you can see, it's um, pretty well padded on the exterior um, and to gain access to the interior is via this quick release clip, which is easily opened. I quite like um, this as a method of, of keeping the, the case closed in that it's, it's really secure, but as you can hear, it makes a less noise than some of those that use things like Velcro, which um, if you're trying to remain hidden or not frighten away animals um, is sometimes important. As you can see on the on the front of the bag, there's a um, separate pocket, which is, is pretty good um, and a nice place to keep um, things like keys or some money or um, your lens cleaning cloth. On the inside, there's quite a lot of more than enough padding, actually, uh, more than most, and so provides a good amount of protection for the, the optics inside. Um, the bag itself comes with its own strap, um, shoulder strap which connects to the, the case with these uh, swiveled connectors, quick release connectors. 
um, these can be as you can see easily and quickly removed should you wish um, because they also it also has a, a belt loop on the back um, should you wish to carry your binoculars um, on your hip the included cleaning cloth that comes with these binoculars is pretty good um, and of a nice quality um, and it's, it's will be more than fine for out of the field or emergency cleaning however should you want to you know clean your, your lenses in the best possible way to ensure that you don't scratch or damage some of the coatings I'd still recommend that you get yourself a, a specialized lens cleaning kit the included trail seeker manual is very generic and basic it includes you know the usual information on how to clean your binoculars the parts of the binoculars and things like that um, however also inside are the details of the um, lifetime warranty that comes with these binoculars um, which is really good and proves that Celestron believe in this product and in the fact that they are willing to give it a full lifetime warranty that concludes my quick walk around video of the mostly external parts and accessories on these Celestron Trail Seeker binoculars. As I said, please, uh, for the full review, which goes into um, infinite detail on all the parts, all the coatings and, and everything, and just how um, well they perform for me out in the field and back in the office, please take a look at the link below. 